Hey guys, this is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how to install and set up Selenium on the computer so that you can run all your scripts regarding Selenium. So the first step is you need to install Java on your computer if you don't have installed it already. So you have to install JDK and for that we have a link here for the Oracle from which you can install the JDK. I can give this link into my description, description section. So let me just open it. So this is the link and from here you can install any JDK which you like. Just make it sure it should be a latest one. So you can install from JDK 8 to JDK 11. All right. Uh, I would recommend don't install JDK 7 and below because those are the older ones. Okay. So once you have that installed on your computer, you have to install the Eclipse because Eclipse is an editor which helps us to write code in a more professional manner. Okay. So if you see, this is the Eclipse on my computer which I have installed already. And for that, you have to go to the Eclipse website. Let me just open it. Okay. So from here, you can just click on download packages. And from here, you can click on Eclipse IDE for Java developers, 32 bit or 64 bit. So on the basis of your OS, you can install that Eclipse from your, on your computer. Okay. Once it is done, you have to download the, the Selenium Java client driver. And you can do that from the Selenium HQ website. That is the main website for Selenium. So this is Selenium HQ website. Once you open this seleniumhq.org and download section, it will show you certain jar file. The first jar file which you need to download is this Selenium standalone server. Okay. So what it means that this is a Selenium standalone server jar file which they have created so that first you can run all the scripts locally. And second, if you want to run that scripts onto a different machines and want to do a parallel execution using a Selenium grid, you can use the same jar. Okay. So they have bundled that into the same jar file here. Okay. And we have another option also that instead of having a server binding and a client binding, which this jar file have, we can only have a client binding if we don't want to run our uh, ex our test scripts on the parallel way and on the grid so for that they have given this selenium client and web driver language binding and we need to download this so i would recommend you can just go ahead and download this one and this will suffice all our all our needs so this will contain all the classes interfaces and all the methods which we need for selenium okay so once you install that into the your third step what you need to do Okay, you need to download the browser driver. So for that, we need to go into the same page and under that at the bottom, you can see there are different drivers given. Okay, so if you want your scripts to run on Chrome driver, you can install that. If you want to run your scripts on the on the Mozilla br uh, browser, you can install this Gecko driver. If you want to run your scripts on Microsoft Edge, you can install that Microsoft Edge driver. Okay, so what you can do once you install all those things, you have to put it somewhere into your folder. For example, I have already installed Chrome driver here, if you see, and this is the client binding. Uh, so you can install this client binding or as I said, you can just install the Selenium server standalone and that will be fine. Okay, so these are all the jar files which we have. So these are the four things which you need to run Selenium scripts on your computer. First is, I again repeat, first you have to install the JDK, then you have to install the Eclipse IDE, then you need to download the client binding or you can download the client plus server binding through the server standalone and then you have to download the browser driver so you can download it like a Chrome driver or a Gecko driver and the other drivers. Okay. Once it is done, what you have to do, you have to open your Eclipse and in this you need to create new project. So you have to go file, new and project and you can give here Java project and click on next. Okay. 
so you can give the project name as selenium test or you can give any name which you want so I have JDK 1.8 that's the reason it has automatically installed it has selected that so just click on next okay and click on finish so this is the project under which we can create different uh, files and different scripts okay and what you have to do now you have to do a right click on this so that we can add jar files into this project go to properties all right and here you can see java build path okay and a java build path if you go to libraries tab and you click on add external jars it will it will ask you which external jar you want to add so just need you have to give sir selenium server standalone and you can click on open and GRE will be automatically uh, you know hooked because we have JDK 1.8 so all the Java jar files will automatically enter JRE system library now you just have to click on apply and close all right so now the binding the the hooking of the jar file has been done for selenium if you see in this project the project above this I have already done that once and what I am doing here, I have created a certain script file into this Selenium script file and that if you see I can do a right click and show you what jar files I have. I have just server standalone jar file. So just off with this jar file I am able to execute all my Selenium scripts. You don't have to install the other jar file or the other client side jar files. Okay, and let me also show you how I am using the true Chrome driver exe into my script. So let me open the simplest one. Let me open get title. Okay, so this is a Selenium script which I have written. Get title. If you see the first line which I have written in my Selenium script is system dot set properties. And under that, it's webdriver.chrome.driver. So this is a command I need to give. And then I need to give the path where my driver is installed. So if you remember in the fourth step, we have downloaded the browser driver. So I have downloaded the Chrome driver. So I need to give the path of that driver. Okay. And under import, you can see there are two main things. One is org.openq.selenium.webdriver okay which is coming from a standalone jar and the another is org.openq.slim.chrome.chrome driver that's also coming from a standalone jar okay so these are the things which we are needed to run the scripts for selenium once you do this you will be able to go ahead and install and uh, run your selenium scripts okay so I will give this link which I have written here on all the four steps into the description section and I will write down the steps in the description section also of this video. Alright, thank you for watching.